Nehemiah 8, 1 through 5. Now in the mid-September, all the people assembled at the plaza in front of the water gate and requested Ezra, their religious leader, to read to them the law of God which he had given to Moses. So, under no doubt, they're eager to hear God's word. We should, as believers, have an eagerness to hear God's word and for it to be read. And this is something that should not be neglected in the church. The word should be read on a constant basis. So Ezra the priest brought out them the scroll of the Moses' laws. He stood on a wooden stand, which may be where the idea of pulpit comes, because it's more common of that day to for the teacher to sit as everybody else stood. Um, made especially for the occasion, so everyone could see him as he read. He faced in the square in front of the water gate and read from early morning until noon. Everyone stood up, he opened the scroll, and all who were old enough to understand paid close attention. To this, to his right stood Martha, Shema, Ananiah, Uriah, Helkiah, Messiah. Uh, to his left stood Melai, Mishael, Mala, Harshim, Hadash, Badiah, Zedekiah, Zechariah, and Malaniah. Uh, I didn't check out who these names were. I believe most of them would be priests. Um, but he, he, he's reading the word for four, five hours. This may mean that he reads all the word. He reads the entire law of Moses to them. But we oftentimes in church get so distracted, focused on ideas of what we're going to have for lunch, where we're going out of there, that we ain't really focused on being there. And forbid if the preacher goes over an hour, because we ain't going to stay past lunch. We ain't going to stay a minute after 12 if God really gets him stirred up. And it shouldn't be that way. We should have an eagerness so into the Word that we don't want to stop hearing it this also goes to that fact that we should have a personal study time in our life and we're if we don't we're truly missing out on something